Hey guys, welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So, this isn't a game that we've played yet, um, just shot a video of, but I've played this game quite a bit, um, and I thought, you know what, it'd be fun to do like a restoration, a full restoration of a car um, in this game. So, the plan is to go to the junkyard and buy a car that we think looks interesting, and then make it beautiful and pristine and amazing. Um, all one video, and we're also going to kind of track and see how much it costs us and how much we make um, on that cost, basically. So yeah, but yeah, there's some cool game. There's some cool cars in this game. Um, you can see I've got like an old RX-7 here. It's not in great shape, um, but you know I've got a rotary engine in that one, which is sweet. Um, this is like a Chieftain something something. It's like an old Firebird. It's got a big, big V8 in it. So yeah, there's a pretty decent selection of vehicles. So. Let's go to the junkyard and see what we find. Okay, we're at the junkyard. So basically, you look around and try to see what cars you can you can work on. I wish that this was an option. It's not. It's kind of weird. Like the cars can be sort of hard to find because although there's three over here, which is surprising. All right, so let's look at these. What do we got? We got a Bolt Cape Supercharged has a V8 two carb supercharged V8 with 517 horsepower. Interesting. That's, that could be. Maybe. I don't know. This guy. Oh, what's going on with the radiator? That doesn't look right. The Salem Kieran four wheel drive. <laughs> four wheel drive, yeah. Front wheel drive, turbocharged. Okay, so 180. Horsepower, turbocharge, four cylinder, sure. Cool, 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 cool. And the. Is this the same? Really? Same car? Yeah? Just. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm doing those. Maybe this. We'll see. Let's see what else we can find. This is an interesting car. It's weird because it has the engine in the back. And it's a a dual overhead cam V6, but it is in the back. It's super interesting. It's The whole car is, I think, rear-wheel drive, if I remember right, but you can see the engine back there. It's kind of a cool car, honestly. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do it. Just, it's pretty cool the way it's built, so. I mean, I don't know. We could do that, or do we feel more like doing like a classic muscle car or something like this? Chieftain TBX, one car V8, 291 horsepower. Huh. That first one with the supercharger is tempting to me. I don't know. It'd just be cool to put a big supercharger on something. Uh, this little boy, cutie. Single overhead cam, four cylinder. E nah. Okay. What do we got? Oh, this is like a. Oh no, it's like a Mustang. Salem Spectre Fastback. Not bad. Be pretty sweet, actually. I just. Uh, but you know what? I can't stop thinking about the supercharger. I think I'm going to go with that. It's not really my style of car, necessarily. But uh, I think this motor will be fun to work on. So, this is the one we're going to go with. So, we're buying it for $6,135. So I'm going to make a note of that, $6,135. Before buying it, we had $239,724. So I'm going to make a note of that, and we're going to buy it, and we're going to fix it. So here we go. All right, back in our garage, we've got our Bolt Cape Supercharged. We have $233,589 remaining time to get to work. I'm going to put it over on lifter C. I'm feeling lifter C. So, what do we got here? Um, wow. Like, basically an engine block. And a crankshaft. And well, you know, not much else engine-wise. Transmission. Yeah. So I think the best thing here to do is just to start stripping it down. 
and then work on the repair side. And we'll track how much money we spend to repair and or replace parts, because you can repair parts in this game as long as they're in good enough shape to repair. Um, and then we'll see how much money we can make off of this. Yeah. It's been a little while since I've played this. If you've seen me play PC Building Simulator, it's weird because there's like a ton of similarity in the controls. But there's like a lot of similarity, but there's also just enough difference to make it really, really confusing. So you'll probably see me struggle with that a bit. So I'm sorry in advance. Okay. Take our battery out. Guess I gotta get the get up in the air to get that crankshaft out. Probably have some pistons bolted in. It has been a while since I've played this. Get our drive shaft off. Oh, the camera is I forget the camera is very odd. And so you know too, I've played this game a ton. Um, I'm level 34, so I'm high enough level, finally, that I can repair body parts. I believe. That's right. I think I have that unlocked. Ooh, so loud. So yeah, I can repair body parts, which I'll show you later. We can, like, weld. We can use a little welder guy to... To do that, so that's cool. Okay, no, yeah, there are no pistons. It's just the transmission holding that. Crankshaft in. Go ahead and remove these. And I think for this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all stock parts on. There are performance parts in the game. I'm not going to mess with that. And I'm not going to change the wheels. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to basically, I'm just going to restore it to its former glory. Because I want to figure out how much that would be. How much that how much money that would make us and not add any other variables in so. taking the suspension apart clicking on the wrong things it's all good it's, it's great stuff so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the whole car apart i'm going to go to the repair bench i'm going to repair as much as possible and then uh, we're going to start the slow, arduous process of trying to fix it while also figuring out which parts are just missing. Because replacing parts is easy if I had them in the first place. It kind of works like an inventory. But if I didn't, uh, we'll just figure it out when we basically can't do something because we don't have the part. So it can be a little slow. <laughs> There'll be some editing involved, I'm sure. If only it was this easy in real life. Just imagine. It's great, like there's no... Ele like electrical systems aren't a thing. You have to worry about fluids. I mean, I guess there's oil, but like you don't have to worry about fluid draining. Like you don't have to worry about brake lines and draining the coolant and you know, none of that exists, so. It is, I mean, I think this game actually is pretty cool and does a nice job showing this process off, but, man, if only it was this simple. Not that, okay, well, it's not really what I meant to do, but I guess we're going over here. Got this, we got uh, drum brakes in the back, disc brakes in the front. Pretty standard. Leaf springs in the rear. Should be able to fix a decent amount of the suspension, I'm hoping. A lot will get replaced, obviously. Uh, 
Uh, I'm doing things in just bizarre order. I feel like I just randomly move. But whatever. Do what I want. The engine is the most fun part, I think, but it's also going to be a pain because we're missing most of the engine on this car. So it's going to be a lot of, like, figuring out which parts we need. Okay. Back end is almost... Hello. Yes, thank you. Almost apart. Fuel tank, no fuel pump. Okay, so that is the suspension, all the drivetrain, the engine is, uh, we just need to pull the engine out. I don't think we're going to be able to fix the block. 50, that's 5%, I don't think so. Alright, so we're going to go over here to the repair table, and I'm going to repair everything that I can. And we're going to see how we do. So this is a really fun, fast clicking adventure. And go. Is this fun? Alright. I, I don't know if we broke a lot there. I think we did okay. So... I'm probably going to put the suspension together. I don't know why. I just like to put the suspension together first and just get it done with because it's lame and not not that fun. So I'm going to work on that. I guess. I don't know. It's just going to be clunky too because a lot of the parts are broken. Some aren't. There's just not a great process for doing it. But uh, we're going to do it. Yes, we are. Here we go. I guess I could just go through and do all my purchasing. Yeah, I'll just buy up all this stuff that needs it. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so, I should have all of the parts of the suspension replaced. Ugh. I forgot how, like, time consuming that is. Oh my gosh. I have to remember how to... Aha! Gosh, it's been a while since I played this. Alright. Just gotta put it back together. Look how nice and clean it looks. It's going to look so great with the rusted out frame. Oop. Oh yeah, brakes. Oh. Brakes are in a different tab. That's alright. That'll be easy. That will be fast. cylinder on the other side? That was stupid if I did. I probably did. Yes, I did. Oh, wait. That shoe is 100. And that cylinder's 100. Okay. That's fine. That's, I must have been able to repair those. Cool. Yep, gotta do those. Gosh. I always forget. The shock absorbers are kind of a separate deal. 
no matter. No matter. Alright, alright. Cool. Get in there. Yeah. Just gonna build new shock absorbers. Okay. We'll work on that. I guess. It's dumb that shock absorbers aren't under suspension. What are they under? Body? No. I guess they're under just all. What? I don't understand. That's weird. Where are they? Oh, they're a group. Alright, wish one shock absorber. Okay, double wishbone shock absorber. And eh. front spring. And Cap, I guess it's just this. I probably should have. Okay, hope it works. I think it's right. Yay. Super right. Nice. Okay. There are those. All right. Brakes. Exhaust. Then we're done with a lot of that stuff, I think. So just let me replace these parts and the exhaust, then be back here. Get our exhaust put together here. We'll do our brakes. And then we're ready to move on to the engine. And it's gonna be something. Cause we have basically no parts. So it's gonna be a lot of parts purchasing. Oh my god, I forgot this upper suspension arm. That would have been detrimental. Perfect little transition over to our brakes, that's all. Okay, putting the wheels back on. Let's do this one still. Okay, so that's suspension, it's exhaust, and we're down from 233,000 to 229,000. So we've spent, um, what about 4,000 bucks on that? That's not too bad, actually. I think the rest is gonna be a little, <laughs> definitely gonna be pricier, because we were able to fix quite a bit there. So, um, great. I guess I could also do the fuel tank really quick here while I'm thinking about it we'll tank we'll do a fuel pump okay 
It's pretty much engine time. Though I'm a little bit sick of looking at this disgusting car, so uh, I'm going to use... Ooh, I need to put my battery on here. <laughs> it's super funny, you can charge a battery and then it just like restores its condition, so... I won't complain. I'm going to use this really quick. We're going to fix the body, because it is ugly. So watch. Presto blama, thousand dollars. That's salmon color. I don't know this color. Like, what is this? It's salmon. That's all I can say. It's salmon. Is that good? All right, keep that with me. Okay. Well, that looks a lot better, even though the color's weird. Um, wow, we didn't even get a steering wheel. That's pretty interesting. Didn't get seats. We didn't get a steering wheel. We really did get kind of ripped off. Uh, uh, no, 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 normal. Jeez. All right, engine. Here we go. I don't even. We don't even have a block. I'm pretty sure. No engine block. V8 OHV. Dead. Gearbox. <laughs> this is going to be expensive. It's also going to be putsy. It's going to be very slow. Um, yeah. The way that this works is kind of weird. I like to build on the stand and then drop it in, but I will have to move. I have to. You have to use the engine puller so that then it like associate with the right kind of engine. Okay, let me do that quick. I think I can do this. Pretty sure. Okay. So now should be able to. Yeah, cool. Alright. That's what's going to look like that outline right there. Isn't it beautiful? Man, we have nothing. We have nothing. We have a crankshaft. We've got a fuel filter. That's a performance fuel filter, though. Not using that. We've got a radiator. we got a crankshaft. we got a battery. <laughs> this is going to be so bad. This is going to take forever. It's just going to be very slow. I mean, unless you, like, knew this engine. Okay, we've installed everything onto it that we can, that we already own. Joy. Flywheel's dead. <sighs> Alright, well. Here it goes. Bunch, so obviously eight pistons. Durr. Um, power steering pump V8. At least some of these are, like, oops. Some of these parts, at least, like are ubiquitous, universal. Is that the same thing? Yeah, sure. Alt. All right. Filter. That was a mistake. Fuel. Okay. Piston. It was just the regular old boys. Eight. I'm pretty sure it's just regular piston rings. I hope. Bing. No. Yep. Yep. Power steering pump V8. That'll have to happen. No. At least, honestly, this is a fairly simple uh, engine. We could do much worse. Like, I'm trying to think, like, something like the inline sixes or something, they have, like, crazy, like, rocker assemblies, and ugh, it's kind of complicated. Though this might still, yeah, it's still going to have a bunch of push rods. Eh, it's, okay, I, I, it's probably not going to be great. It's probably not going to be great. <coughs> Okay. Camshaft V8 OHV. Power string pump V8. Engine heads are both V8 OHV. OHV. This is probably a bad way to do this. Okay, engine head V8 OHV. Check. Check. 
Um, man, it's so bad. I have like a two second memory when I play this game. Like two seconds. Power steering pump, V8. Yes. Ignition, coil, and I believe it was B. I don't know why I remember that. That was not what I was trying to remember. This is not the correct order to screw in head bolts, by the way. There are very specific ways to do that, and this is not how you do it. Like, they're always numbered, so you would go in some cool order that distributes the torque better. But, hey, game. Alright. V8 OHV exhaust manifold. Back to this. Back to this. I'm pretty sure this is also a thing I'm going to need. Okay, a couple of those. Oh yeah, now I remember. It's just a camshaft, that's what I wanted. Ooh, look at that big boy. Honestly, this is coming together okay. Those are both, okay, cool. Both VA to OHV, you can get those. It's gonna look sweet. It's gonna be a boat, but it's gonna, it's gonna look sweet. Ah. Oil filter, okay, I like it. Oil filter, we need a camshaft. I think it's just the regular one. And we need that supercharger. Right, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Camshaft. Put our supercharger on. Distributor, yeah, a bunch of push rods, two four barrel carbs. Put this on. Cam gear, V8 OHV. Got this. Okay. Cam gear, OHV. Oh, it was like two four barrel carbs. I'm gonna need eight spark plugs. Cause I can just get those now. We're gonna need push rods. I'm assuming it's just the regular ones. Scoop air filter. Fun. Timing chain. Okay. We're going to need 16 of these, right? I think. Because they're dual. Well, ah, well, we'll have extra. I think that's right, though. We have HV. We need a timing chain. We need a scoop air filter. A couple of them. Those are cool. Let me get put the scoop. That's so crazy looking. Timing cover. Plugs put in. We're getting there. We are getting there. And yeah, I was right. Sixteen push rods. 
And then we're going to need a bunch of rocker arms. Sixteen, actually. Imagine that. Yeah, I could see why this engine has 500 plus horsepower. It's pretty beefy. Okay, a bunch of rocker arms, distributor, timing cover. Timing cover. P80 HV. Ignition distributor. Then we'll need a distributor cap, which I think is just the standard one. Wires. Probably just V8, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I've already forgotten what I was supposed to get. Rocker arms, yes. How could I forget those? Rock. 16. Is on. Let me guess. Clip B? I don't know. Clip B. And what? Ah, it was V8. Yep. I thought so, but I was too scared. Nine bucks for each of those clips seems a little steep. Those clip companies, I tell you. Making a lot of money reach that one. Alright, screwing some rock arms. We're getting there. We're actually getting pretty close. We'll obviously have to do like some of the belts and the, the water pump and whatnot there. Around the front. We'll throw a tranny on. We'll throw a you know clutch and uh throw out bearing and all that. Um and then transmission, but then I mean phew, we're pretty much there, and then we just get to polish up the, the easy stuff. Engine head cover B. There's probably also an engine head cover A, which I think has the oil cap on this side. Oil fill cap. I need a tool like in PC Building Simulator that just like makes everything happen automatically. Like in this game, can that be a thing? Because I'd have this build done probably twice now. Actually, I need a tool that will buy all the correct parts for me. That would be truly amazing. Okay, we got lots of things that have VAO, which that's good. It's kind of what I try to do too. Is like find a bunch of parts that you can search for in bulk, and it makes it easier to remember. Generally, though talking while trying to find things makes this actually pretty difficult. It's like a good mental challenge. <laughs> a mental challenge that I'm failing at, I think. Crankshaft pulley, water pump. Wham, wham, wham. Okay. Put these on. Yep. Well, oil fill hole there. All good. Okay, not much left. Serpentine belt B. Supercharger water pulley. Okay, I'm gonna get that scoop that I keep like putting off for some reason, even though it's totally awesome looking. Air scoop. Booped at me. Serp belt. Yep, I should have seen that coming. Supercharger. 
All right. Ah, oh, another one. Serpentine build A. Yep. Are we done? Dang it. Raider fan. Should have known. Can never be over. Okay. Zoom way too in. Air scoop? What else? Transmission side, but that's it, right? Oh, oil pan. That'd probably be a good thing. Oh, I should probably, like... <laughs> I should probably bolt the pistons in. Uh, or this isn't going to go very well. Yeah, I should probably... I should probably do that. Okay, eight rod caps. And then... Three? Three crankshaft bearing caps. bit bad. Eight and three. Nope, that's four. Three. Get the crankshaft all secured. Probably should have done that a long time ago. No wonder the oil pan wasn't showing up for me to install, because it really would not have been good if I just closed that up and called it good. That, I can't even imagine. I mean, your engine would just grenade itself the second it turns over. Okay. Oil pan. Alright, flywheel, of course we're going to need flywheel, we'll need clutch, we'll need that stuff. This, this, that one, this would be good. And I think the gearbox is just the V8 OHV, that, gosh, it really seems like that's right. I'm going with it. Oh. I think I fixed my clutch from before, but it's fine. Never hurts having an extra, I guess. Get our little clutch release bearing. And we are good to go back in the car. I believe. I think we're good. Okay. Let's put the engine back. Uh, nope. I forgot. I have to go over here. It's been a while. I forget how this works. Okay. Nope. Apparently I'm dumb. Um, no. Engine stand. Take off engine. Yes, 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 yes. Excuse me. Now we install. Magic. Go away. Ho oh, ho, look at that big boy. All right, now we're looking good. Uh, cool. Let's see. What else we have to do in here? Got to put our battery back, which is charged. Got to put our radiator back in. Brake servo. Manage to fix that. Not a whole lot else. Let's open my radiator. Um. Wow. Transmission. Wheels. And then we just got to do some like fenders and stuff. Like we're almost there. 215,000. Okay, so we spent some money. But I have a feeling we're going to make quite a bit on this deal. And I still have parts I need to sell, too, so that'll be a little bit of money. That's my drive shaft. Toast. I could search for drive, but you know I'm going to search for shaft. Well, I feel like that was more scrolling. So shiny. Is that it? 
besides wheels? Are we there? Besides wheels and, you know, doors and junk? Take that out. it <coughs> that's crazy all right so actually I mean, that came together pretty decent put some oil in it just so I don't forget it later Cool, let's fix the outside. <laughs> oh my god. I just realized I uh I missed something slightly important, which is, you know, critical parts of the uh rear suspension. So I'll yeah, I'll probably pull those in quick. And I just... Also, I think I missed some uh, bushings in the front. Wow, I'm the worst mechanic ever. Ah. Yeah, this wouldn't have been great. Okay. I was looking through my parts list and was like, wait, what are all these extra parts? Oh, no. You know, bushings. It's fine. Not a big deal, I'm sure. More of like a, you know, just a technicality, right? Okay. I really think that's done now. On the suspension. That's good. Good, good. Okay. I don't need any of this. Okay, body, yep, rims are junk. Now I can take the rims apart, I believe, and fix them. So I guess I'll try that. See if we're able to fix anything. Body parts I can't fix. Let's see if I can fix the rims. That'll save us money. Fix up all our rims. Oh, just kidding, I can only fix up two of them. Well, that's disappointing. Alright. Vintage 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 Tire Wall A 20570 R15. Yep, I never remember that. Rims. Nope. Well, I do actually need rims too. What are they? They're capes. Cape, 15, no offset. Two, wait. Oh, okay, I was like, uh, those are too big. Cool. Tires. t t t t t t t tire Vintage wall, A. <sighs> this is gonna be bad. 15s, 205s, maybe. Yep, 205, 15, 70. I was, you know what? I think I could have, I almost had it. Almost had it. 15. That's not how you move arrows. 205, 70. 
Bam. Please be right. I think that's right. Yay. Now we gotta do the fun process of ins of mounting wheels to rims and balancing them. Yay. Yes, balance. It's gonna be worth all this hard work. I'm told. Salmon car. Yep. Still got the muscle memory a little bit. At least there's that. Go, Balancer. Faster, you you machine. I get bored sometimes. I gotta come over here and start mounting them before. I can wait for them to get done. Oh, yeah. like mostly complete. I don't remember where I got it. It's cool though. You're not done? Come on. What's that trash can? Ew. Alright, after this it's just gonna be some body panels, some glass, and then we might give it a coat of paint and then we are done. We're done. I believe. Cool. Now, I have none of the parts that I need for the body, so... I can't fix them, I mean. So I'm gonna buy them all new. Which is actually great, because it's easier. Let's do it! Body shop. Cape. Front bumper, left door, left window, left fender, right door, right window, right fender, front window, hood, left body window A, headlight, mirror, stuff, bumpers, glass, more glass, headlight, window again, wait, ooh, oh, okay, 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 okay. didn't even know that because I didn't have a trunk. Man, this thing's actually got a lot of body parts, it's kind of cool. Assemble mode. Assemble! That's cool. Separate taillights. That shiny glass. Hood would be good. Oh, it's the wrong hood. Wait. Alright. I gotta make room for the supercharger, I guess. Is that a custom hood? Okay, sure, sure, sure. I guess so. Body tuning shop. Cape. No. Um. Um, <laughs> uh, hmm. Wow, I don't. Bolt Hellcat hood? Uh, I, maybe? I think it's a different car. I didn't make this up, okay? I never even considered. 
That's the same. I guess I'm gonna try because this is a bolt, correct? I feel like these are not gonna fit. Ugh. Whoa. What? What hood? What hood do you want? Bolt cape supercharged. I don't know how to help you. How do I give you a hood? I'm feeling quite dumb. Cape. There's no... There are no hoods. A regular hood. There's no. Ooh, I don't. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know how this works. I feel. I feel foolish. Uh, super charge. <laughs> what? What am I supposed to do? Does it just not get a hood? Okay, I'll figure that out. That's real weird. In the meantime, I'm going to do something I know how to do, which is clean the interior of this car. Nope, that's a toolbox. Here it is. Presto Cleano. Look at that, beauty. How are we doing? Global body condition, 91%. Global parts condition, 99%. What? seat, steering wheel, bench, license plate, okay cool, got scared, got quite scared, fine I'll do the things I know how to do, like license plates, where are you guys from, I'm from this state, so we're going to do a couple of these, yeah I'm not putting that thing, I don't know, Okay, okay. Get some interior stuff. Let's see what they have. they have the stock. Oh, sweet. Okay, Two that's like benches in the front and back. I need to move you. Yeah. Would you? Hmm. What am I doing? Normal. That's right. Move. Let's move it to the entrance here. Uh, nope. I always do this wrong. Tear disassemble. What? I can put the front, but it's the. What? This car makes no sense. I'm getting all the right things. I think. I guess it just takes regular seats, even though. Hmm. Okay. I guess let's get something that matches. That is a normal front seat. Mm, let's see. That. Is that too ridiculous? The Atlanta? Um, might work. Kind of looks right. I don't know if it's like too old school. Ah, the Typhoon seat is hilarious. I'm just going to buy two because it's how confident I am, apparently. Yeah, sure. Matches, kind of. Weird. That's weird that I can't put a bench in the front. Okay. Are you happy now? No. Global parts condition 99%. Starter. Uh, okay. Back to the lift. The starter is so easy to miss. Fool. 
start. All right, we're almost there. I promise. Now, do you love me? Yes, good. Why does it not have a hood? I gotta figure that out. Okay, so I looked it up. Yeah, there's apparently there is just there's no hood. The the supercharged version of the bolt cape does not have a hood. It's 100% completion. No hood. So, all right, let's paint it and then we're done. Now, the hardest part is painting. Cause like, how do you decide what color? Ooh, livery. I haven't played this in a while. Interesting. That salmon color is so gross. But then I'm like, it's factory. Like, shouldn't I just be restoring it to the factory color? Isn't that how restoration works? Oh, it's so weird looking though. All right, you know what though? For the, I'm, I'm feeling like I just want to be a purist. This color is stupid, but. I want to be true. There it is. All restored. So, all right. So when we started this, we had $233,589 after buying the car. So before buying, $239,724. It is worth $46,794. So, uh, let's see. We spent, including buying the car, we spent 32000 and we basically uh, could return almost 47. So uh, we made, what was that, 15 grand? Yeah, so we made, I think, about 15 grand. So there you go, 15 grand. Um, the car is 517 horsepower. And I guess, you know, it just doesn't feel right to not, like, go take it for a quick rip. Ooh, I can already hear supercharger noises. Oh! Dang, son. Kilometers an hour, though. What is this nonsense? The driving physics in this game are so bad. Wow, I'm actually surprised it could stop that. It handles kind of okay. I'm on a keyboard, so... I don't really have high expectations. It's just constant peelies. There we go. I get the back end sailing. Brake test. Oh, fail. That was pretty good. Well, there you go. Uh, that is the Bolt Cape Supercharged version without a hood in beautiful salmon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I know that was a longer video, so uh, let me know if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.